RMS Titanic was a British passenger liner that sank in the North Atlantic Ocean on April 15, 1912, after colliding with an iceberg during her maiden voyage from Southampton, England to New York City. Built in Belfast, Ireland, the RMS Titanic was the second of three Olympic-class ocean liners. The Titanic was constructed by Harland and Wolfe. The construction of the Titanic was overseen by Lord Purry, the director of both Harland and Wolf and White Star Line. Naval architect Thomas Andrews, who managed the design department for Harland and Wolf. And Alexander Carlyle, the shipyard's chief draughtsman and general manager. On July 29th of 1908, Harland and Wolf presented the drawings to J. Bruce Ismay and other White Star Line executives. Ismay approved of the design and signed the letters of agreement two days later, authorizing the start of construction. Construction of the Titanic took about 26 months and cost around $7.5 million. The Titanic was equipped with 16 watertight compartments which had doors that would close automatically when the water level reached a certain height. The ship was designed so that it could remain afloat if any two compartments or the first four were flooded. The ship's outer skin was constructed of steel. Titanic was 882 feet 9 inches long, 92 feet 6 inches wide, and 104 feet tall. She weighed about 46,328 tons. The Titanic consisted of 11 decks. This excluded the top of the officers' quarters. Eight of the decks were for passenger use. Titanic was equipped with three engines. This provided a good combination of performance and speed, along with reduced fuel usage. The passenger facilities aboard the Titanic aimed to meet the highest standards of luxury. Titanic was laid out in a much lighter style similar to that of a contemporary high-class hotel, with first-class cabins finished in the Empire style. Other decorative styles like Renaissance and Victorian was used to decorate cabins and public rooms in first and second class. The idea was to make the passengers feel as if they were on a floating hotel, rather than on a ship. Leisure facilities were provided for all three classes, such as The library Smoking room And a gymnasium One of the most distinctive features was its first-class staircase, known as the Grand Staircase or Grand Stairway. This extravagantly carved staircase descended through five decks of the ship. On Wednesday, April 10, 1912, the Titanic's maiden voyage began. The passengers began to arrive at 9.30 a.m. Third-class passengers were to board first, with the second and first class following with an hour to departure. The Titanic passengers numbered around 1,317 people, 324 in first class, 284 in second class, and 709 in third class. On Sunday, April 14th, the ship received a series of warnings from other ships of drifting ice in the area of Grand Banks of Newfoundland. Nonetheless, the ship continued to steam at full speed, which was standard practice at the time. It was generally believed that ice posed little danger to large vessels, and Captain Smith himself had declared that he could not imagine a condition which would cause a ship to founder. At 11.40 p.m., lookout Frederick Fleet spotted an iceberg immediately ahead of the Titanic and alerted the bridge. First Officer William Murdoch ordered the ship to be steered around the obstacle and the engines to be put in reverse, but it was too late. The starboard side of the Titanic struck the iceberg, creating a series of holes below the waterline. Five of the ship's watertight compartments were breached, 
It soon became clear that the unsinkable ship was doomed. Those aboard the Titanic were ill-prepared for such an emergency. The ship's lifeboats only had enough space to carry about half of those on board. The crew had not been trained adequately in carrying out an evacuation. Officers did not know how many they could fit in a lifeboat, so most were barely half full. Those in third class were largely left to fend for themselves. Many were trapped below the decks as the ship filled with water. A woman and children first protocol was generally followed for the loading of the lifeboat, leaving most of the crew and men on board. Two hours and 40 minutes after Titanic struck the iceberg, her rate of sinking suddenly increased as her forward deck dipped underwater. As her unsupported stern rose out of the water, exposing the propellers, the ship split apart between the third and fourth funnel due to immense strain on the keel. The stern remained afloat for a few minutes longer, rising to a nearly vertical angle with hundreds of people clinging on. At 2.20 a.m., the ship sank, breaking loose from the bow section. The remaining passengers and crew were plunged into the cold water. Many of those who were plunged into the cold water either died of hypothermia within minutes or drowned. Only 13 who were in the cold water survived. Distress signals were made. However, those ships who responded were not near enough to reach before the ship sank. A nearby ship, the Californian, saw the flirts but failed to assist. Around 4 a.m., RMS Carpathia arrived on the scene. 710 people survived the disaster, while 1,517 lost their lives. Those who survived the devastating event were helped by charities and relatives upon arrival to the U.S. The wreck of the Titanic remains on the seabed, gradually disintegrating. Since its rediscovery in 1985, thousands of artifacts have been removed from the seabed and put on display at museums around the world. Titanic has become one of the most famous ships in history. Her memory kept alive by numerous books, films, exhibits, and memorials.